Hello everybody, it's Nash and Noob here, and welcome to Pixel Game Maker MV. Before we begin, um, I do expect you to have a rudimentary understanding on uh, making objects like characters and tile sets. Um, in the description, if I remember to when I post this video, I'll post a link to a video that um, I saw someone else has done that is a pretty good job of it, so you can go and watch them do it. I figured out the stuff on my own, um, but they have a pretty good way to show how, how to do it. Anyways, um, so I am going to show you guys how to make a health bar. Well, a health um, gauge, I guess. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure that you have your picture for it um, because we're doing a pretty simple basic really quick tutorial on it I'm uh, not going to go into too intense one but you want your stamina bar um, making whatever program I use pixel pixel edit I believe because that's a pretty cool program um, and yeah so you have it um, again hopefully you know how to import resources at this point because that's not what I'm going over um, but you can see that I have my resource sheet so the first thing that we're going to be doing after we import resources uh, oh and then also so you want to make sure you have before we begin you want to make sure you have your resource sheet for this and then you want to make sure you have your player character animations like your player characters already done it's already set up um maybe one thing that you want to make sure is that the hp max hp is set to what you want it to be set up um and then yeah you have your resource problem so just, we're gonna go, uh, once you import, I, I'm trying to remember what I did before, so I'm hopefully gonna be in order. But anyway, so you import your resources sheet, you go to objects, you go and make up. And I know I'm terrible, I should be doing this differently so that you guys have it from the beginning, but I'm not because this takes forever to do. Um, so objects, you're gonna make, um, right click, you're gonna go add object, and then name it as you're going to name it. Sorry, I'm on the wrong tab. I meant animations. <laughs> so the, you're gonna make um, a new animation with your resources. So, you know, add animation, resource. You're gonna use your resource that you did. And then once you have it, um, motion, you have full, three quarters, one half, one quarter empty. So full, uh, direction we're not changing because we don't want this to change dependent on which way our character is facing that's not something that we want to change or have um, matter so it doesn't matter it's a stamina bar or a health bar doesn't matter um, so frame is what you're going to be changing for each of these to actually change what it looks like so if you click on frame then you can see that I can actually like click on the different ones for what it looks like so full we want it to be full. Makes sense. Um, three quarters, three quarters, half, half, whatever. Um, the detections and whatnot don't really matter because it's not gonna be actually part of this, uh, part of like detections or anything. Um, after you set up all of that, then you're gonna want to go to objects and then here, Add object, name of object, select animation, the one that you just did. So you made an op you made an animation for basic health in this case. You're going to use select animation, basic health, pretty standard. So I'm going to go to the one that I've already started. Um, what I do, and uh, if you look at the demo programs, they do a pretty similar thing as well. Um, is you have your main branch box here, and I'm honestly I understand. How to make it work i don't understand how this stuff works so i got it to work that's as far as i know um so this is your main branching box you want it to take over motion but motion don't set have it at nothing next you're going to we're going to just add on um it at one health now to um to do it on so we have our main branching branching branch and then this is going to be for one quarter health. So you can see it's the basic, it only has about a quarter left of its uh, health gauge. So motion is going to be one quarter motion. 
Um, so if we scroll down to the bottom, we're gonna, and actually, before I forget, settings, fix relative position to camera. And that's, that's kind of the only part that matters. Um, there's another part somewhere that says if it's an enemy group or a player group or something and you want it to be an enemy group apparently I'm not too sure really um, But the main thing is fix relative position to camera if we don't have that it's not going to do what we need it to do It's going to um, fall down or move and have to deal with closing boxes So that's what we want to make sure anyways back to where we were so we want to make a quarter health um, so down here other runtime actions um, you don't actually have to do anything on this thing at all, but what I am doing for the purpose of this demonstration is I'm gonna have it show text what the health is, and this is gonna be important in a second. So adding uh, show text, and then we go up to the top, and we go variable, and my main character in this case is gonna be Enna. Her HP at um, is gonna show the variable of her HP, uh, and then the font is just six by 10 because that's what we're just doing. Uh, you get to change a, um, like how it looks and everything. So background transparency, you probably want that to be actually transparent because I'm going to do that actually with all of, with all of these because I think that will make it look. Oh, did I not do it for that one? Huh, well, you're just, you're just fun, aren't you? So show text variable Anna HP font 6 by 10 cool and then this one's gonna cover up so then you can see what the problem is okay so it's gonna show text it's gonna show what, what our thing is now what matters um, so I'm doing one quarter health but actually I have a set health for my character um, I'm not sure how to do this with percentages yet maybe once i get th that figured out which i think i'll have to end up figuring out anyways then i will update maybe do an updated video but this is it with exact number not percentages so it says quarter health but it's actually only like one health okay so we're gonna go we're gonna click add link from our main branch to action 005 which is one uh you'll want to name all of these because it makes it easier to figure out what the heck you're looking at okay so can so i actually was just screwing around thinking like there this has to be a thing i never saw this page to begin with when i was originally adding links for some reason this never showed up for me so i randomly stumbled across this way later like it's been like a two-day process for me to figure out how to do this kind of not really i don't know just like think on it when i'm not actually in the program trying to think like this should fucking work this is what i was expecting the whole time okay so and also you want to organize these but i'm not because i'm lazy conditions set variable as condition and a hp is equal to one so now it's going to branch if n is um hp is equal to one then we go here. But what if it's not equal to one? Well, we'll add another link, link it back there, let it be a freaking mess because we don't have time for that. Uh, switch variable. And then we're gonna do, again, Anna HP does not equal one. All right, and now let's do two more. So this one, other runtime actions. Uh, show text because I want that to show for us as well. I hope that does what it, I hope, I think it does. Cause I, I'm realizing like that is not something I've changed before, like that background to transparency. So I might look kind of silly. Oh, I guess you can preview. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. Okay, stuff, <laughs> anyways. Uh, let's add another link back from our main branch to this one, which looks kind of empty, right? Um, the link is going to condition on variable. I don't know if you actually have to check that box, but like I'm just doing it just in case. And a HP zero, which I didn't actually have to ch change, but I did have to change 
this one. And then again, add link from here to here. Oh, that is a, I'm just not even, just not even dealing with that. Which I guess you could do like HP is zero, then something funky happens to you. So, but that's not what we're, not what we're doing. We're just doing the basic. Cause pretty much like with this part, a lot easier to figure out what the heck else to do with everything else. Okay. So we have it now for depending on what our main object, our player characters, um, HP changes to changes on what our health gauge looks like. Great. That's awesome. Um, and we have made sure that it's fixed relative position to camera. Next thing that we're going to do, um, this is not actually my like tile set, but this is just like a demo tile set I'm using for this one. Um, so there's gimmick settings. There's a bunch of different ones. For what I'm getting to work right now is have object type enemy group decrease object HP by minus one. That's it. Um, I also have it changing to a different basic tile because I want it to look different after we do what we do because I just want that to be how it is. All right, so we, recapping so far, we um, brought in our resource, we made an animation, and then we gave our animation um, conditions. Now we're gonna go to scene. Um, if you guys have seen before, there's something called menu scene, which is interesting. Um, I don't know how to make more than one menu scene, maybe menu one, not really sure. You know, I'm, I'm figuring it out. But for now, we have menu. And we're going to have object. And I don't know. There's actually supposed to be something on this. So, don't know where it went. But anyways. Uh... You want your basic health. Why is that? I feel like. Can we, oh, we're gonna have a fuck ton of these. Okay. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Come on. Delete all of these, yes. This one, I want to move. You know what? Fuck it, it's just gonna stay there. It's fighting with me. So anyways, menu scene, Um, it's supposed to show up. So I fucked up somewhere, but that's fine. Um, okay, and then you're gonna make your, you're gonna insert your, okay, I should make this bigger so I can actually like look at what I'm doing. So you have your starting, starting point for your character. And I don't know if there's like a click and drag yet. I don't know how to go through. Um, so starting point for your character, you have your basic tiles and you have your tiles that are gonna hurt them for like, obviously you'll have enemies that hurts them, but this is just what it is. And now we go make sure that you have scene settings and then default menu screen, the menu that you want to have where your health gauge is showing up. Okay, so if I didn't screw up anything <laughs> during this tutorial, this should work. No promises. Okay, so that one fell away because that was the fixed relative to, uh, position isn't working because it's not on the menu screen. Anyway, so we can see in the top left-hand corner is our bar. So let's give a little walk. You know, don't laugh my little dude's walk. He, uh, doesn't quite have everything figured out yet. Don't know why it decreased by two, because it's not supposed to decrease by two, but okay. So it decreased it by two. So you can see my stamina went down by two. And now it's decreased to zero. And now it's empty. I did screw up somewhere because um, that should have given us more options. So let's see, let's see our links. I think this one yeah, should be equal to two. So it's something with my tile set for some reason is 
hitting it more than once for some strange reason. But anyways, I think that's I think that's good enough to do. So now you know how to make a um, pretty basic. Oh, now it worked. Okay, three. And then that one did two. And then that one did zero. Okay, so you see that it does work. Apparently, sometimes I'm just screwing up something. Um, anyways, maybe if I jump onto it, let's just see what happens if we jump onto it. Don't laugh my animation yet, okay, guys? It's not done. Okay, that's three. Two. Let's see. One. Zero. Woo! We don't actually want the black box to look like that around it. I'm just doing that to show you guys that the character's HP is changing, actually, not just the um, stamina bar. So that looks pretty terrible, but I'm into it. Um, so recapping for a final recap. Step one, resource. Step two, animation. Make sure on the frame. Step three, set up the branching for conditions for when the uh, bar changes. And then also uh, fix relative to position, camera. Step four, I forget what step I am. Make a menu scene, five, add menu scene to be the menu screen. And then six is just play. I guess like somewhere in there, it's like, make sure you have your tiles that do damage and all that. Stuff. So this is not polished, um, but this is just a super basic tutorial on how to do this, which I figured it out myself. So part of it was scrounging, um, cause there's demo projects in Pixel Maker. Some of it was done by trying to figure out what the heck was going on with those, but those are not, those are not the most like helpful, especially because I actually, for some reason, clicking the links didn't bring up the conditions for me, but I also probably wasn't clicking them properly because like I'm not very good at everything. So anyways, I hope that was informative and helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I probably won't be able to answer them because as I said, I figured out how to make it work. I do not understand why everything works. I'm not a pro. But yeah, I'll see how if I can help you. Other than that, hope you guys have fun making games. Bye-bye.